Lucky, lucky, lucky me, I'm having a wonderful time. I laugh all day, I sing all day, I love a glass of wine. I wink at the moon, I smile at the sun. I'm as mad as a loon, so let's get this done. Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in this week. Welcome to my blog and um, hope you've had a great week and anything happening, anything exciting happened to you this week? I hope so. Um, I went for a lovely meal last night with some friends. Um, I, was, I was dead good, I ordered everything in, in French. Um, they were really surprised we were in a Chinese. <laughs> Okay, now you may know, you may, <laughs> you may think, you know, you may realise there's another chair here, right? So what I've decided to do, every week I'm going to have a guest on and that guest is going to pick a card out. Um, either they can ask a question or just have a card of the week. So I thought that would be a good idea to involve you gorgeous people uh, in my blog. So afterwards, if anybody wants to do this, just let me know, just inbox me. So I'd like to start with her debut on camera, my friend Lynn. Here she is. Yay! She's gorgeous. Round of applause. <laughs> This is, this is Lynn, everybody, my lovely friend. Right, so, have you decided, is it a question, Lynn, or is it just a general um, week ahead? I think I'm going to go for the week ahead. The week ahead, right. Okay, so these are the lovely cards, the mythic tarot. I've never been in a witch's den before. Have you not? <laughs> I'm allowed to say that. <laughs> It's a coven, Lynn. It's, it's a coven. A coven. Give them a good yeah, Right, so what you do, let me just tell you, when if you're doing this for a friend or even doing it for yourself, what you do is, I mean, them cards are quite hard to shuffle, aren't they? they are the 42-year-old, them cards, 42-year-old, and they're quite soft, aren't they? So they're difficult. Um, this is going to be full of innuendos. I can just feel it in my water. Um, so, are they allowed to drop the bad ones out? Yes, of while course. You're Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> So what you do, if you're doing this, you know, either um, a question or just the week ahead or immediate future, you just shuffle the cards, get, so say you're doing, say you're doing this for a friend like me and Lynn, so she would just get all her energy on these cards, all your lovely energy on these cards, Lynn. <laughs> Right, and then when you're ready, I just want you to give me one card. Oh, look at that one poking <gasps> out. It's poking. I think it's the definite. I think it's poking. I think that's the one we need. Right, okay. <gasps> oh, right. The King of Swords. Now, I talked about this fella last week. I think it was the, the week before. The King of Swords. This could either be your man in your life. Have you got a man in your life? I have, but has I he, hope he hasn't got a sword. Has he got a sword? <laughs> I was going to say, has he got a sword up at the moment? Um, well, that can mean a doctor, it can mean a lawyer, it can mean... It's, it's a he's strong, none of them. He's none of them. Well, that, well, that might be a doctor then, or somebody professional that's going to um, be part of your life in the next week. Give me another one. Let's see who this fella is. Hmm. King of Swords, sometimes he's a, he's a Libra, Gemini or Aquarius, sometimes he's an air sign. He's quite... Oh, we've got two there. Now what do I do? Oh, have you got a son? I have. Right, okay, right. She's got the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords, right? So I think what that's saying is that, you, that your son... We're a family. You're a Saudi family. <laughs> and I think you, 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 your son... Is he a Gemini, your husband? Yes. Is he really? He really is. Right, okay. Right, I think that... So the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords... That's Lynn's son, and, and I, honestly, I can tell you 100% I didn't know her, her husband was a Gemini. 100% I didn't, I can vouch Definitely for that. Not. Absolutely I'm not. not even, to be honest, Gina, I'm not sure he's a Gemini. He's the 6th of June, but I don't know whether that's a Gemini. Yeah, there is a Gemini. <laughs> yeah, 6th of June, well, yeah, Gemini. Know, I, just so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think we should have the Gina yeah. Lynn show, do you? Maybe. I think it would be... Uh, I think it would be uh, a little bit. We'd have to beep all the time. Um, so I think with the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords, I think it's just saying that you're going to have a week um, revolving around them full of, family. Family. full of family, yeah, and revolving. Nice week, just, you know, with your son and your, and your husband um, being very involved in your week this week. Uh, maybe a little row because swords are, row, swords are yeah, roused, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So maybe there's going to be a little bit of a row this week. 
Let me know next week. So what I do, I will. Lynn will let me know this time next week I if I was right about that. If there, so, that would be interesting, won't it? It will be. It'd be interesting, right, darling? Well, um, is there anything else you'd like to ask before you go back to your um, seat? No, I don't think so. I'm Are you still, done? Yeah, you I think, think you're so. done. Right. I'm kind of wondering if there's lots of spirits and things in in <laughs> in this little area. What's happening? <laughs> there probably is. There probably is. But well, I'll leave them to you. All right then, darling. Thanks. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. Show. Thank you, Lynn. And um, yeah, so that'll be interesting. So if anybody wants to pick a card out, just let me know. Just inbox me um, if you want to pick a card, or if you want to, uh, if you've got a pending question that you want to know, should I take this new job? Should I go out with this new guy that's just got in touch with me? You know, we'll do the cards. Right. So let's have a few cards of the week. Um, I'm going to use my cosmic cards this week. I don't know. I think I've used my cosmic cards once or twice. So let's have a look. Let's see what we've got. Right. This is a major arcana. And this is the fool. Now, the fool is the first card in the major arcana. So the fool is all about a new beginning, a fresh start. It's kind of like the universe is opening a big door for you. And you're going to get shoved through this door, whether you like it or not. It's kind of like, um, or another analogy, you could say that you're getting shoved over a cliff, but it's not like Thelma and Louise where it's the Grand Canyon. There's a, there's a, there's a, a nice slumber uh, mattress at the bottom of the cliff, you know? But it's a, it's, it's a big door that's going to open for you. Um, and it's a fresh beginning. And it's, a, it's, it's kind of like, um, there's maybe a little risk involved, but I like the fool because it's, it's kind of like, you know that song, Fools Rush In? Um, Actually, that would be a good song. Fools rush in where angels fear to tread. And so I come to you, my love, my heart above my head. Fools rush in. That, that would be the song. Um, so there you go. Um, the Fool, New Beginning. Brilliant if you get that card this week. Very, very good. Next one. Next one. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. Liddy, diddy, diddy. <gasps> the lovers. Right. The lovers. Now, the lovers has two distinct meanings, right? The first meaning would be there's some love coming into your life and some passion. Now, if you're single. So if you're single and you get the lover's card, it usually means, I would say, get your legs shared. You know what I mean? Because there's somebody coming in. Now, if you're married or in a relationship when you get this card, now, it, it's a bit tricky because if you're married and you've kind of been a little bit disconnected from each other, uh, maybe like your husband works away or, you, you know, your wife's away or wherever, um, that can sometimes mean that you're going to be connected again with each other. Oh. If the devil's around, it can mean another person, right? So that can actually mean um, to a choice between two people, uh, the lovers. Uh, traditionally, is a choice. But as I say, if you're single, it would probably just mean one lover that's coming in. So the songs that I would choose for this would be... Um, Torn between two lovers Feeling like a fool Loving both of you is breaking all the rules. Mary McGregor. Tom Between Two Lovers. You have to be a certain age to remember that song. Um, and the next song, what were oh, there's so many songs that you can pick for this. Um, Lover Man, I don't know why that I'm feeling so sad. I'd like to try something I've never had. Never had no kissing. Mm, what I've been missing, love a man away, can you be? <laughs> so, there's so many songs with loving, isn't there? Um, <clears throat> so there you go. The Lovers and The Fool, your two cards of the week, marvellous. So I hope you get them. Hope you get The Lovers. Right. <laughs> you know what's going to come now? The joke. This is a little bit rude. So if there's any children watching at the moment, I would suggest you turn the video off now. Little bit rude, only a little bit. I'm going to give you time to turn the video off. Three crabs sat on the beach. Mammy crab, baby crab, and daddy crab. So the little baby says there, Mammy, can I go in the water? I haven't been in the water yet, and I'm one. And the mummy says to the daddy, what do you think? And the daddy says, well, as long as you stay near the front, see the edge of the water so we can see you, go on. You're all right. So the little crab scuttles off 
he's in the he's in the wash having a good time. So the mammy says to the daddy, he seems to be having a good time. Should we go and get an ice cream cornet? <clears throat> so the daddy says, yes, all right then. So they queue up at the ice cream van, and they get an ice cream cornet, and they're eating ice creams, and the little crab sees them. And he, he comes running out of the water. And he goes up and he says, watch them. And the mammy says, they're ice cream cornets. And he said, well, they look really lovely. She says, yes, they're gorgeous. He said, well, where's mine? She said, well, you looked as though you were having a really good time in the water, so we didn't bother getting you one. He said, you shellfish bastards. (laughs) 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 Well, so, folks, have a wonderful week full of love and sparkles and laughter and send me your jokes if, if you've got any jokes. If you want to be on the blog and pick a card out, please let me know. It would be lovely to see you. Um, and thank you, my friend Lynn, for, for picking a card out today and being as funny as she usually is. Gorgeous person. Um, so I'll see you next time. Lucky, lucky, lucky me. I'm a wonderful lover me. Diddly, 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 didd